front where it says Ames real big. Hi, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. You know, on a really nice, warm August evening, I spent some time out at Highland Crossing and ended up catching up with my friend Chad of Historic BF later in the evening when he was done working. Never a dull moment on the Fort Wayne line. We caught a lot of trains, and a lot of interesting things happened in this one video. So, I sat there for a little bit. We caught a westbound intermodal with a white ninja on it by the artist Jabber. And then we would catch another westbound locomote. And then we would catch another westbound intermodal going by as an eastbound manifest was on its way. And we were expecting a meet literally right in the crossing there. Well, we kind of got that, but the westbound train had gone through and the eastbound was struggling to get through Highland Cut and ultimately stalled. The lead locomotive stalled literally right in the middle of the crossing blocking the road for about, about 30 or 40 minutes or so. What had happened was they lost communication with the Tier 4 engine on the rear of the train, and they were trying to regain communication, and because of that, the lack of power caused them to stall pulling the grade. It sat there for a little bit, and once another westbound train came by, a coal train. I want you to pay attention to one of the engines leading that thing. It had a hood on it that wasn't painted. It was in its primer gray on one of those AC44 C6Ms. And as it starts to go by, this manifest that was stalled regained communication, got some help with uh, NS Road crew, and they got it back up and rolling and was able to make it safely to Conway. But because we had noticed the westbound double coal train, it had seven engines on it, three at the front, two in the middle, and two at the back, we decided to go after it, especially when we noticed that one engine with an unpainted engine hood. So we chased it out to Columbiana, Ohio, where they go through this empty field at just blazing speed. And we really lit it up as we uh, bring the sunshine, as we normally do. It was a lot of fun and made for a unique night. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. It was a fun night. It always is. And I'm glad to bring you guys along. So stay tuned and enjoy and all the other goofy things that just happened in this one video. We have a westbound and an eastbound coming. The westbound just hit Midvale Crossing. The eastbound manifest is about to round the corner. I'm not sure what I'm going to get first. I know it's on the manifest. It's nothing really special. I know it's on that eastbound. It's not very special. It's just just a manifest. But what's on the westbound is what I'm not sure of. I think we're going to get the eastbound or the westbound's definitely going to come first. Cuz I got a headlight. 
No headlight from the eastbound yet. Oh, he's coming around the bend now. We're about to have a meetup. He dimmed his headlight because the eastbound is here, too. So I'm in the car, I'm listening to the scanner to see why this train stopped where it did in the crossing. Sometimes trains do stop here to let something else go by. They normally don't block the crossing though. What I've heard on a scanner is this is train 12N and that the leader 4052 here has lost communication with the rear DPU which I can't remember what number he said but it's a tier 4 and they're trying to uh, get the computers working on it and engine throttle down at idle down and they're basically stalled here something westbound coming while well, this train's still waiting.
Anyway, how about that? I hope you enjoyed. How about that last manifest with some interesting cars on it, some rare ones that I've never seen? That was a lot of fun, and I was happy to bring you guys along and also spend that time with my buddy Chad of Historic BF. If you're not a subscriber to his channel, I highly recommend you go over there and check him out. He's a great guy. I love his content, and I think you would too. I don't get to hang out with him every day, but when I do, we sure as heck have a lot of fun chasing after trains and doing something that we both love to do. So anyway, with that said, I'm taking off. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Stay awesome. I'll see you next time, wherever it may be. Don't know where I'll be on this channel, but I'll certainly be glad to bring you guys along. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Shoestring was the only name he had When I'd skip school he'd take me fishing Sitting on the creek bank talking and wishing Things were good whenever times got bad And the people say shoestring you ain't got no money Shoestring you can't hang around here Shoestring you got your hat on backwards He knows more than most folks do but he don't talk unless you ask him to When the winter comes and the wind blows me Shoestring hops that southbound train Rides it down below that Florida line